Hello, my name is Cavell Dixon. I'm a reference librarian here at Newark Public Library. I am using my iPad to show you a few things. First, how to use, utilize our website. Second, how to register to access our ebooks and audiobooks collection. Third, how to download the Libby app to access our collection. First, although our doors are closed, we are still here to help. Please feel free to visit us online at www.npl.org. Once you're here, on the top left-hand side, it says my account, and next to that, join our, mail our email list. If you select join our email list, here is where you can enter your email address to sign up to get updates about current events, programs and events. The NPL, New York Public Library, is offering you can also select on Ask Us to contact us at our phone number, which is 973-733-7779. You may also email us at reference at npl.org. The second thing I will be doing is showing you how to register and use our ebooks and audiobooks collection through eLibrary NJ. The company that provides the content for eLibrary NJ is called Overdrive. You can go directly to our library's website, select on catalog or online resources. You will need your library card number and PIN number in order to use the service. If you do not have your library card number, I do want to point out back in the Ask Us option. You can scroll down and select library cards and borrowing getting a library card and this is where you can fill out a form online to get a new library card or you can also renew your card. So now let's go directly directly into accessing eLibrary NJ. Select on catalog, select on download ebooks and audiobooks, and here it will take you to the eLibrary NJ Overdrive website. A couple of things I want to point out. If you scroll down, I'll give you a link to select on to download Meet Libby, the Libby app. We'll go over that again in a minute. And it has some highlights for the month. Uh, Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. And if you scroll down, there's more. So here we are back to the top. This is where it says sign in. If we close that out and click on it again, sign in. You will need to find your library. We are the New Work Public Library. So let's type that in. And select on New Work Public. Here, you can type in your library card number. Click on that and type in that number. Now I'm selecting on sign in. Once you've signed in, you can scroll down. And here now it changes instead of sign in, it says my account. Click on my account. And there's some options there. You can sign out to the bottom. Loans, holds, wish list. Let's click on loans. 
as you can see, I have two items out on hold, two items on hold. Let's go back to search. Let's say uh, we're looking for a particular author. Let's try Stephen King. We can select on Stephen King. We can filter this. I only want to see titles that are available now because although this is a wonderful service, I do want to point out that there are some instances where um, you could possibly be waiting for um, an item. Okay, and, and here's an example. Waitlist, waitlist, waitlist. Let's say if I decided to actually um, just place a hold on something, which means that you're going to go on the waitlist for it. Select on place a hold. And now it says success. You're, you're on the list for the outsider. Your host position is number 46 on five copies. Close that out. But let's go back up because I was saying we can filter. So availability, I just want things available now. And as you can see, on the top, it changes to available. And these are the ones that are available now. There are ebooks, there are audiobooks, uh, which the audiobooks are listening books. So Building Bridges is uh, one that is available now from Stephen King. And I can go ahead and select on borrow for that. And my default setting is for 21 days. When you first start, most people's default setting is set to 14 days. However, I've changed mine to 21. Uh, however, if you feel you need more or less time, you can select the option that's right for you. And just click on 14 days, borrow. Uh, do you want to listen now in your browser or do you want to download the audiobook? It's totally up to you. Uh, for this option, I'll select listen now in browser. On November 19, 2003, Stephen King was awarded the National Book Foundation's prestigious Medal for Distinction. And that is what that particular book sounds like. Back to the tab. Let's close that out. An ebook, Dream Catcher. Let's try to borrow that one out. Select on that. As you can see, it defaults to my setting of 21 days. Change that over to 14. Click on borrow. Uh, you can let's try a download EPUB ebook. Um, it says the overdrive app is required for this format on your current device. Let's cancel that because we don't have the overdrive app yet. So um, let's click on here. Dreamcatcher, I'll just read it in the browser for now. And this is what it looks like. Okay, let's scroll over to the left and this is the book, okay. Now, if you've decided that you're done reading a book, you can return it by selecting the return button. Are you sure you want to return title? Yes, return this title. You are allowed five items of holes and loans. So you can check out five items at a time. You can place a hold on five items at a time. You can renew three days before. Um, the ex it's expiration. I'm also going to go ahead and return Joyland. Keep in mind, however, despite your, your loan settings for your days, if you forget to return an item, Overdrive will return it for you automatically on its due date. It's automated. However, uh, we do recommend that uh, users when you're done with some something to try to return it as soon as you can 
to free it up to give access to other individuals who might be waiting for this particular item. So here at the settings option is where you can change your default lending period from 14 to 21 days. And that's how I did mine. Audience, uh, you can select juvenile, young adult, general adult, mature adult. Uh, if you had this card was set up for your child, for instance, you can change the audience type to only show content that is juvenile or young adult. Okay. If you have a Kindle, you can also select Kindle preference. So you only see things that are compatible with a Kindle device. Let's close this out. And those are important things that I wanted to point out with uh, Overdrive. You can also seek help. So if you select on the help option, it will take you to a wonderful help menu for Overdrive about getting started, ebooks, audiobooks, the Overdrive app, and troubleshooting. The Overdrive app, as I mentioned before, is called Libby. In the past, Overdrive had its first app and that was called Overdrive. And some years later, it decided to relaunch and to find a more user-friendly app, and they came up with Libby. Libby is compatible with Apple and Android devices. You can also download uh, Libby on, say, uh, your smart TV. You can download it on an Xbox. So anything that can download an app, you can download. And Libby does work with Apple CarPlay. Let me go back to Overdrive. eLibrary and J, select on that because I want to take us to the main option where it says me Libby, as you can see, App Store, Google Play, Microsoft, I want to select on the App Store because I have the iPad. I've had it before in the past, so I can now download it by selecting on the cloud. And wait for it to do what it does. Select on open. If I hadn't had Libby installed previously, it would say get. I would select on get, put my thumbprint. If you had a thumbprint down, it would download it and you can select on open. So I'm going to select on open. And it's saying welcome. First question, do you have a library card? Yes. I'll search for a library is the option I'm going to select. I'm going to type in the zip code. Search on that. And we know that it's called e -Library NJ through New Work Public. I'm going to select on that. Again, it's asking you to. I would like a library card or to choose a location. Let's just choose a location. Scroll down to the New Work Public Library, type in the library card number, and again, I'll type this number in. Once I'm logged in, uh, automatically it tells me the name of the card, how many loans I have, how many holes I have, the same as five next and this is what the Libby app looks like what's new what's popular what's available you can explore um, and it's very similar to the website I do hope that this tutorial 
was helpful for you. Um, it's a starting point, but again, if you need more help, you can explore the help options uh, on eLibrary NJ.